Hey, Billy Glisson with Power Core 360, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to rotate your body with all kinds of torque, create big time arm speed, most importantly, get on top of the ball, crush the ball down the line. Stick around to the end of the video, I'll give you free access to our volleyball power hitting masterclass private Facebook group where I post all our analyses and provide feedback and tips for our athletes. Okay, so here is a video submitted um, last night from one of our college bound hitters. It's in our master class, and this is actually where she's at in her progression, which is pretty good. Really working on pulling the arm and back down underneath the shoulder, starting to get hip and shoulder separation, hips starting to turn from right to left antenna, creating the body web, right? Her question, though, was why is she having trouble getting on top of the ball? So I'm going to answer that. And the ideal perspective or ideal um, angles, we would be looking down the line from her, right? But there's a lot of good stuff going on in her swing, but she's really not getting on top of the ball. And I'm going to show you why here, and then I'll show you why in a hitter that does get on top of the ball. And it's really about the position of the body in space. If I look here and I blow this up a little bit, if we were looking down the line from behind her, we would notice that her right shoulder is well higher than her left shoulder at contact. That's where it needs to be. What we'll also notice here is that if we look at her top of her pelvis, it's basically sitting like that. What that really means is that her spine is tilted. So she's got a little side bend in her spine going like that, right? That's not what we want. And the reason she's, she's turning her hips, I want her to turn her hips more. I want her spine in a better position. She's arched. But she's getting her right shoulder up over, you know, tilted to the left. But she's doing it by bending her spine. I want her to bend her entire upper body from her pelvis, her spine, and her shoulders all together. That way she can rotate like crazy, create all kinds of rotational power, rotational arm speed and shoulder torque, and then get the hand and arm, get the hand hitting on top of the ball, and like especially on a one shot, a line shot, pull the ball down the line, but it's all right now a function of, if you look at her, if you can imagine right now, if I draw an arrow on here, her right arm, is over her right leg. That's the problem. If we can get her upper body to tilt, what we ultimately want to do is we want her right arm over her left leg. But the position she's in in her body right now, she can't do that. So even though she's turning her hips a little bit, she's turning her core, she's turning her spine, turning her shoulders, we don't have her, her total body tilted from her pelvis up in the right position for her body to rotate and her hand to come with rotational power on the top of the ball and pull it down the line. I'll show you what that looks like on a different player. Here's a player that we grew up with and helped develop. She was a college player, Division I, <clears throat> outside hitter, and then went and played pro overseas. This is the position of the reverse power C in the air from the down-the-line position. What I want you to start noticing here is that her axis, her upper body axis, and let's just call it her spine, is actually tilted. So it's tilted like that. It's not straight up and down like that, right? We don't want that. That's where our um, youth hitter is at college bound hitters at. If I start drawing start drawing a couple other lines in here, so there's kind of the spine tilt, there's the shoulder tilt, right shoulder's getting ready to come up higher than the left, but the pelvis is actually tilted as well. That way we can actually have her rotate her hips, rotate her spine, rotate her shoulders around an axis of rotation that's tilted, right? And when I say tilted, I'm talking about it's tilted over this direction, right? It's tilted down a little bit to the left. That's what we want. That way, what she's going to do is rotate her body, and that way her hand and arm or elbow will come up high at extension up by her ear. She's going to contact the top of the ball, and she's going to pull the ball down hard by getting on top of the ball. Let's move forward. Let me get all these lines off the screen. So if we move this forward here, she's going to do exactly what we want her to do. She's going to kick her feet. The kick of her feet is going to start to turn her hips and pelvis from right antenna towards left antenna, right? We want them, right, to rotate. When their hips go first, it pulls the arm and, excuse me, it's going to pull the chest and shoulders through first. You can see the elbows coming up now high up next to her ear, but do you notice how her body is tilted to the left? Now she's basically going to get on top of the ball, hit the ball, you can see the wrist actually snapping. You see the fingers hitting the top of the ball. So she's hitting this ball hard, but she's also putting top spin on it to help it drop. When she gets done, she does exactly what we teach, right? The whole body is rotated towards the left antenna. She lands on two feet, protecting her knees, but her hips, her chest, her shoulders have rotated through. 
but her axis of rotation, right, her spine and everything is tilted over here to the left, looking down the line view, right? That's what our younger athletes need to learn to do. It's advanced. The younger athlete is asking a good question because she's figuring out she's not getting on top of the ball. We want them to rotate hard. We want all kinds of rotational arm speed, arm whip, and ball speed to come out of it. But the shoulders and the hips and pelvis and spine need to rotate. We need to get, if I back up a little bit here, we need to get the right arm over the left leg. So now if you look at this, draw an arrow over here. Unlike what I was showing with the youth hitter, we now have the right arm over the left leg, right? That way, once again, the body can rotate from right to left. Pelvis is rotating, spine's rotating, upper spine, shoulders, chest are rotating, creating arm whip. That's what we're searching for in the air. We have to train that. It's not something most athletes will do. Most young athletes from down the line will basically do this. <clears throat> they will have their shoulders level. If you can imagine, let me draw a different line on there instead of an arrow. Most young hitters will have their shoulders like this, and they'll be in their, you know, their spine will be up and down like this, their pelvis will be like this. They'll rotate, but as they're rotating, their hand and arm will come up about in this area. <clears throat> and the action on that ball, when their body's rotating, is they ultimately may pull the ball out of bounds, right? Because their body's rotating left, and the arm is instead of arm and hand are instead of getting on top of the ball are going to rotate around the body, and they're going to pull the ball oftentimes out of bounds down the left sideline. The fix for all this, once again, is just getting the athlete to train to get the right arm over the left leg, which means tilting the axis of rotation, the pelvis, the spine, the shoulders. We want that tilted to the athlete's left. We still want them to, to land on two feet because this is what a lot of good hitters will learn to do. They'll get their right arm over their left leg. They'll get their body tilted but oftentimes they'll come down on one leg, left leg only, and that, as we know, is a recipe to blow out the ACL or have ankle or knee injuries. This athlete was trained and learned how to land on two feet. Anyway, lots of good stuff going on. Hey, and I told you if you stuck around to the end, I'd give you free access to our Volleyball Power Hitting Masterclass private Facebook group. Click on the link down below. If you like this video, like it down below, subscribe to our channel. If you want further information about our Masterclass, our equipment, our programs, our clinics, go to PowerCore360.com.